Hey guys, I just posted on Facebook I was going live in three minutes. I'm kind of an impatient person, so I didn't want to wait. Once again, this seems to be my pattern. So I'm going to go for it. But today I wanted to share, these are four mistakes I know a lot of people make when they are prospecting and trying to recruit people into their business. Um, these are mistakes we all make. I'm telling you, you know, when you come into this industry, you do what feels natural. You do what you think you should, right? And most of the time, uh, what really works is actually counterintuitive to what we think is going to work. So I know these things don't work because I tested them. I tested all of this stuff and it does not work. When I did what, you know, kind of came naturally when I was first starting out and prospecting, I didn't sign anyone up. I signed up, you know, my best friend, uh, my sister-in-law, you know, I managed to convince a couple of my friends and family members. And that's not who you want to come into your business anyway, unless, unless they happen to be a serious business person and want to really, you know, make some money in this industry. Otherwise, when you're bugging your friends and family, they end up being a lot of work and they end up, end up quitting anyway because they're just not into it, right? It's not their thing. It's not their gig. Completely understandable. That's why you need to be, um, you know, prospecting business people, business builders that are already in the industry. They understand the business model. But here are, in my opinion, the four biggest mistakes people make when prospecting. Hey, Andy. Hey, Sherry. Um, okay, here they are. First one, no rapport. When you are speaking to a prospect, if you have not built rapport, trust, and credibility, forget it. They're never going to buy from you or join you in your business. No rapport equals no business. Take the time to build rapport. Make them a friend first. Learn about them, what's going on in their life. Share yourself. Fastest way to build rapport with somebody. That is, it's key. It really is key. Rapport building is absolutely key in this industry. Next biggest mistake. Hey, Lindsay. Um, over enthusiasm. Yeah, I'm sh we've all been there, right? You approach friends and family or whoever and go, oh my God, we're going to make so much money. This is a ground floor opportunity. We have to get in now. We're going to be at the top. Um, you know, just all that crap. It seems natural, right? I know we're all excited. We love our company. We love our products. You want to share it with as many people as possible. It's going to be the best thing ever. But it just kind of freaks people out. People just kind of go, whoa, what the hell are you talking about? It's just too much. And that goes along with giving too much information. This is also known in this industry as throwing up on people. This is when you do that whole, oh my God, ground floor opportunity, you know, compensation plan, this and that, the ingredients, never been done before, no competition. We're in 24 countries across the world making $23 billion a year. The owners, the owners, love us. They come to our part of the world and want to meet us once a year. Oh my God. The charities they give to, that's the thing you guys, every business opportunity has a charity. That is marketing because that's how you attract your yellow personalities by having a charity. I mean, it's lovely. I'm not knocking charity. Don't get me wrong, but uh, that, giving too much information about your business opportunity is detrimental for sure. You want to let your tools do the talking for you. You want to be casual about your business opportunity. People are going to actually want to hear more when you're casual about it. So that brings me to the next one. The opposite of you know what you should be doing instead of throwing up on people and giving them too much information is asking questions. Another mistake, giving too much information, not asking the right questions. You need to ask questions to find out if your prospect is even looking for a business opportunity. 
if they're not even looking and you start pushing your business opportunity on people, it just pisses them off. So find out first if they're looking to earn extra money and why they possibly need it, right? This is all part of the rapport. Get to know them and why they might want to be making more money, what they're looking for, what appeals to them, all that kind of stuff. You know, when you take the time to get to know somebody's hopes, dreams, desires, why they want to be making that money, that information that they tell you, you're actually going to use that to help close them. Because when someone has already told you, they've already admitted they need to be making an extra thousand, two thousand dollars a month to put their kid in college, to put grandma in a home, to do whatever they have to do, right? So that is information that you will use to close them. So it's worth the time to find out about that person. So hey, Savannah. Hey, Adrian. So next one. I, this is a big one. I always teach on this one. This is posture. If you have no posture when you are speaking to a prospect, they will not join you. You have to give people the impression that you're doing this with or without them. You don't even really care if they join you because, hey, they're one person. They're not going to really make a difference in your business. So, you know, it comes down to being casual and having posture, meaning giving that person the belief that you're doing this with or without them. They can join you if they know what's good for them. Otherwise, you know, you're happy to watch them continue doing what they are doing. Losing posture in a conversation will stop you from ever signing somebody up. When your prospect starts posturing up, and you start posturing down, that conversation is, it's, it's gone. You've lost control of the conversation and your prospect knows that they're in a position of authority. You've lost all authority. Never lose your posture ever, ever, ever. It's a game changer. I mean, it'll, it'll kill you. It'll stop you from ever growing a business. If you don't feel you have natural posture, here is something to consider. How much do you believe in your business opportunity and your products? Because I'm telling you, if you don't believe a thousand percent in your business opportunity and your products, you will not speak with conviction and you will not have posture. If you don't, it's time to consider possibly working with a different company. Now, one of the reasons I've done so well, a lot of people who know me from, um, a community of entrepreneurs that uh, I'm a member of. One of the reasons I've done so well in there is because I believe in it so freaking much that when I speak to people about it, oh my God, they feel my posture. They feel my belief. If you're speaking to a prospect and you don't sound like you fully believe in it, they're certainly not going to join you. You know, if they don't feel you believe in it, they're not going to believe in it either. So you need to have a very strong belief in what you are promoting and that will give you some posture. Also, you want to up your posture fast, do whatever the hell you have to do to get results. That will give you posture fast. Also, you need more posture, self-development. Got to do your self-development for sure. So I hope this helps you guys out. You know, this, uh, this is my opinion, but this is what I have learned um, doesn't work, doing the opposite does work. I know a lot of times in this industry, it's actually counterintuitive. You know, you think you've got this awesome company and product, you should be sharing it with the world. It's funny because you actually do better in this industry when you don't share it in the world. When you share yourself and your knowledge, you know, what your niche market wants to know about, health and wellness, marketing, you name it. That's actually how you make a lot more money in this business. So, um, hey, Heather. Hey, Jennifer. So, hey, Ivelisse. Guys, finished your webinar, have you? So, uh, anyway, there you go, you guys. There's my two cents for the day. I always have an opinion on something, as you know. So, comment, like, and share if you think, you know, if you have some friends that uh, could use this message, a little help in their prospecting. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more things that do work. I'm taking a whole bunch of courses right now. I'm really in a a time where I'm educating myself 
big time. So I can't sh wait to share with you guys more stuff, stuff that I learned, stuff I've tested that works, stuff I've tested that doesn't work so that you shouldn't waste time doing it. But um, there you go for today. Lots of good stuff coming up. And feel free to reach out to me if you're looking to finally, you know, stop banging your head against uh, the wall and start getting better results in your business. We've all been there. You know, we all started out banging our head against the wall. If you're looking for a better way, reach out to me. I'm happy to share what I do, what I've been doing that has made all the difference in the world in my business. And quite frankly, my entire freaking life. So there you go, you guys. Have a great day. Hey, Corey. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome, kick-ass day. Go get some shit done. Bye for now.